Hi, my name is Kim Nguyen. I am a program manager at M Collective for the Asian Mental Health Team. At M Collective, we envision a world where future generations of Asian American know their history, identity, and themselves. Today, I wanted to share with you my mental health journey within the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. A lot of my mental health issues and problems stem from my undergrad college experience. During this time, I was in an extremely abusive relationship. And over time, this really took a toll on me. It took a toll on my mental health. And within my family and within my community, I just didn't know how to ask for help. I didn't know who I could go to, where I could go to, who I could talk to. And I just felt so alone just because the word mental health never came up. I didn't know how to bring it up with anyone. Within my own family and within the Vietnamese culture, we never talked about mental health. And I always remember having a strong association of the word mental health equals crazy. And it really doesn't mean that. But within my family, it was just something that we never talked about. It, if anything, there was such a strong language barrier and a strong miscommunication of that word. Throughout my college experience, I have experienced depression, anxiety, I had suicidal thoughts and attempts a few times, but those were a lot of the heavy things that I had to dealt by myself. And I just felt that my community was not there for me. So let's fast forward my life by a couple of years and today I found my passion and my drive for mental health for the Asian American community. I truly believe that my goal in life is to raise awareness and decrease stigma through the sharing of knowledge. M Collective has given me a platform where I could raise and spread knowledge on mental health within the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Sutarji and I wanted to share my mental health journey so far. Back in July of 2019, my cousin passed away from suicide. With an Asian family, we didn't know how to deal with mental health and definitely not suicide. We didn't know how to cope and we didn't know how to grieve. Me personally, I only took one day off from work and I thought I had closure after her funeral. Uh, but in reality, I was definitely struggling. Over the next few months, I had headaches, neck pain, back pain, stomach pain, and I was burnt out from work. It took me so many months to realize that I had to go to therapy just to talk about my grief with my cousin. But once I tried therapy, I kept doing it. I realized that there was so much benefit into talking things out, into really digging deep into my feelings. I really found it easier to understand myself, to be honest with myself. With COVID happening early 2020, shelter in place, the fires in California, it's definitely been difficult. And so I continue therapy even today. I highly recommend going to therapy. I highly recommend taking time to take care of yourself. And I highly recommend that you reach out to your loved ones, especially during these tough times. Thank you.